In this video, I will show you how to set up your own WireGuard VPN server on any location. So before I begin, make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell icon to get daily tech videos. To set up your own VPN server based on WireGuard, we are going to use a service called DigitalOcean. This platform basically allows you to host servers and you can deploy some applications on those servers so just create an account here add your credit card and then create a droplet now you have to choose a region based on which location you want to use in your vpn select it and let everything stays default and choose droplet type as basic which is six dollar a month i think this is good for hosting a vpn so select this and then create a password for the root user make sure you enter a very strong password all the conditions have to match are listed right here after you are done specifying the password just click on the create droplet button and then let it set it up for you you have to wait for a few seconds once it is done and then you will see your droplet name on the dashboard with the assigned ip address open terminal where we will log in into the server or the droplet we have just created so type this command ssh and copy paste the ip address from the digital ocean here but you have to prepend root at the rate in the beginning now just enter the password hit enter and then it will log you in now we are into the droplet so the very first thing we have to do is run an update so for that run apt update and apt upgrade command it will also take a few seconds so just wait while it is upgrading all the packages once the upgrade has finished we are going to use a wireguard installer so there is this github repository of this script that allows you to install wireguard on any linux server or a droplet in our case the link is in the description and you can open its github repository from there to install this you just scroll down in the readme file and copy the curl command this one and paste it in the terminal similarly come back and paste the other command which is ch mode allowing you to give it permissions and the last command is executing the script itself so just copy this wireguard install.sh and paste it and hit enter if you are not sure about the advanced parameters for the wireguard then let everything stays as default you just keep pressing enter and let it handle the rest all the dns resolvers and we are going to use cloudflare which is the default and we are not touching this finally press any key to continue and then it will install the required files and set it up for you it is kind of a long process so you just have to wait there patiently 
now you will have to type a client name that we will use in our VPN app or software make sure it's a short one like under 15 characters so just enter a short client name and press enter let the WireGuard IP stays the default it will generate it for you automatically in the end it will give you a QR code basically this QR code is storing all the information about the VPN configuration that we have to do on the client side so first we have to extract that information for that we can use a QR code scanner for this I use ShareX on my computer so just open ShareX from the tools you can find the QR code click decode and decode from the screen select the QR code and then it will show you all the information about this you have to copy this and save it in a file go to explorer here you need to create a text file open this file with notepad and paste all the content now to connect to the WireGuard VPN, I am going to use a client called Tunnel2. This is an open source WireGuard VPN client that you can use on Windows. You can download it and install it. It has a very simple interface which kind of looks like this. So click Add Tunnel and then import the configuration file we have already created. All the information is added. You just give it a name. For advanced usage, we can add allowed apps in the list. Finally, save changes and then start the tunnel. Click enable. Wait for VPN to become active. When the button turns red, now VPN is now active. let's try browsing open firefox and in the url box type mylocation.org it will now show us location of the wireguard vpn server that we have just created in our case it is california as you can see here also the organization name digital ocean is here which is our host where we have installed our WireGuard server. This is it. This is how anyone can host their own WireGuard VPN server.